All right, we're going to do another um, application of quadratics, and this is another type of example where this might pop up. So let's see. Um, a rectangular piece of cardboard measuring 40 inches by 30 inches. So, well, let's see how we're going to create the situation. Our, you know, um, let's assume we don't know it's quadratic. You know, how do we determine what to do? So when you read it, we're going to pull the information. So we have a rectangular piece of cardboard. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. And that, that's a rectangle. Measuring 40 inches by 30 inches. 40 inches, 30 inches. Is to be made um, into an open box with a base bottom of 900 inches squared by cutting equal squares from the four corners and then bending up the sides. So I see 900 inches squared, I'm looking for an area, but that's the area of the base after I fold up these corners. So I need to figure out, so find to the nearest, oops, find to the nearest tenth of an inch, the length of the side of the square that must be cut from each corner. So let's draw that. Um, I have these little squares um, in each corner of my cardboard, right, my flat cardboard. And I don't know what the dimensions are of these squares. They're unknown. Um, and you'll see that when I cut those out, you know, these pieces will fold up to form an open box. So that's what we're doing here. So um, I don't know this dimension, so I'm going to call it X. And since it's a square, then, um, yeah, since it's a square, then this is also x, and then they're all the same, x, 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 right? These are all the unknown, so I have to figure out what those little cuts are to create this box, um, and then the base of that box is going to be 900 square inches. So let's try to visualize this, you know, um, we need to create an equation somehow from this situation. Um, again, that is the area of the base after I cut out these squares and then I fold up the sides. So let me write that down. The area of the base of the open box after I cut these corners and fold up these sides and create my box, that area is equal to 900 square inches. Okay, so that's what's given to us. Now, let's try to visualize, let's draw, if we can, the base of this box after we fold up these sides. So try to imagine, you know, this length is going to be the base, right? That, that part is going to be part of the base of my, um, my box after I fold up the corners. So picture this, this right here, this rectangle is going to be the base of my box after I fold up these sides, right? So this is folded up, this is folded up, this is folded up. Those little boxes are, are the little squares are gone, and the area of that base is 900 square inches. Okay, so let's figure out what this length is after I cut out these little pieces in the corners to figure out what the length of the base of this box is. So originally this whole thing is 40, right? I'm cutting out x and x. So I'm going to have 40 minus 2x, right? I'm cutting out an x on this side and an x on this side. 40 minus 2x. Then um, the width of this box after I take out these corners. I'm taking out an x from this side. I have a total of 30 taken from 30, x, you know, an x here and an x here, subtracting this x and this x, what's left is that length 30 minus 2x. Okay, so we have 40 minus 2x for the length here, 30 minus 2x for the length here. This is, these are the dimensions of the base of the box after I fold up the pieces. And the area of that is 900. So when we find area, what do we do? We multiply length times width, mo um, area of a rectangle. And you can see 
that it would or should create a quadratic. Why? Because I have, you know, a 2x and a 2x. So again, I have a rectangular situation, a flat piece of cardboard. I'm cutting out these corners so that I can fold up the sides and create an open box. And this base here, that area, after I fold up the sides, is 900 inches. Okay, what is this little x? What is this little amount that I'm cutting off of each edge? Okay, so we're going to have to solve this equation to find that. So how do I solve this equation? Well, this is a foil situation, right? So let's foil it. 40 times 30, let's foil it out. So first, foil, uh, 40 times 30 is um, 1,200. Uh, outer, 40 times negative 2x minus 80x. Inner, negative 2x times 30 minus 60x. And um, last, negative 2x times negative 2x plus 4x squared is equal to 900. So let's clean up the left-hand side so that we put it in, um, you know, simplify it, combine like terms, lead with my highest degree, 4x squared. Negative 80x minus 60x is minus 140 x and then plus that 1200 is equal to 900 and I have a quadratic equation again again when I have a quadratic equation I want to set it equal to zero so I need to bring this 900 over by subtracting it and let's see what's left I have 4x squared minus 140x um, 1200 minus 900 plus 300 is equal to zero and now I have a quadratic equation which initially I'm going to try to factor. If it does not, then I'm going to go into the quadratic formula. Um, I think each term, though, might be divisible by 4. I'm going to double check that and see. Because um, if it is, then I can shrink down these numbers and make it a little bit easier to factor for myself. So let's see if 140 is divisible by 4. Yep. And if 300, I think it is, divisible by 4. Yes, so everything can be divided by 4 then. So now I can divide everything by 4. Simplify this, bring down, you know, bring down my numbers, make it easier for me to solve. So what do I have? I have left. When I, when I divide everything by 4, 4 divided by 4, I have an x squared. Um, negative 140 divided by 4. Let's see what that is. Minus 35x. Um, the 300 divided by 4, oops, 300 divided by 4 is 75, so plus 75 is equal to 0. So here we go, quadratic equation, set equal to 0. Um, I want to know if it can be factored. I always try to factor first, and I'm thinking factors of 75 that add to be 35. Um... 75 <clears throat> divided by 5, oh, let's do 15. Yeah, 5 and 15, that's too far away. 25 and 3, that's not going to work. I'm looking for it to add to give me 35. This is not looking like it's factorable. Um, yeah, it's not looking like it's factorable. So, if it cannot be factored, then... Um, I'm either going to go into the completing the square method or quadratic formula. Personally, if I can't factor a quadratic equation in standard form, I go straight into the quadratic formula um, and then solve from there. So, you know, the quadratic formula is, let's write it down first. Um, I'll identify my A. A is 1, coefficient of x squared. B is negative 35, coefficient of x. C is 75, the constant. x is equal to the opposite of B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's plug in these numbers. Um, the opposite of b, opposite of 35, plus or minus square root of, you know, 35 squared. I'm just going to do that 35 times 35, 1225, 1225, and then minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is positive 75, all over 2 times a, 2 times 1. So let's simplify into the square root. Um, so, well, let's do x equals, oops, x equals 35. 
let's do uh, 75 times 4 first 300 so I'm gonna just do the 1225 minus the 300 in one shot minus 300 925 so I have 35 plus or minus the square root of uh, 925 divided by 2 um, let's see if 925 is a perfect square or if there's a factor of 95 that is a perfect square So let's see, 25, 925 divided by 25, 37, 25 and 37, so that works. 35 plus or minus, so if you're not sure, you know, you have to simplify um, the square root of 925, and the square root of 925 is equal to the square root of 25 times the square root of 37, and I choose these factors because 25 is a perfect square, so that's going to simplify into a 5 times the square root of 37 okay okay so I have 35 plus or minus the uh, 5 times the square root of 37 all over 2 now um, you know this these are your answers these are your solutions but based on the fact that X represents a situation from an application I want to make sure that I go ahead and you see X is this distance I want to make sure that I represent X in decimal form so we're going to approximate x now. So x could be 35 minus 5 times the square root of 37, all over 2, or x could be 35 plus 5 times the square root of 37, all over 2. So I'm going to plug that into my calculator and see what I get. So when I plug this into my um, calculator, I get approximately 2.29. And for this one, I get approximately 32.71. Um, so these are my two solutions, but, you know, they come from an application. So which one makes sense for my situation? Right? So it has to make sense for the application that I have, where X represents that little piece of that square that's being taken off. So 32.71 does not make sense for that, because um, otherwise I wouldn't even have the cardboard. So 2.29 um, is my answer. 2.29, what are my units? Inches represents that little box. Um, that, that I cut out to make this, you know, this overall box for my problem. So again, we start with this rectangular cardboard box, you know, um, we create this quadratic situation from it. I'm cutting out pieces or c corners. I fold it up to make an open box and I, you know, the base of my box, I want to be 900 and, um, it turns into quad, uh, into a quadratic situation.